You may have watched a game of rugby or American football and wonder why they spin the ball as they pass it, or seen videos of holding a spinning ball on a finger, bike wheels seeming to defy gravity, or other gyroscope demos. In this video, I hope to explain why these are all linked and how we can use the physics behind these processes to explain why spinning a ball in rugby or football is so important for the accuracy of these passes, and even how it applies to the design of rifles, navigation systems, and helicopters. Before we get into all of that though, let's see why players think that spinning or spiralling the ball is important. It's a well-known fact in these sports that spinning the ball makes it stable along the axis that it is rotating, and for prolate spheroids such as rugby balls in American footballs, this decreases the drag by providing a smaller frontal area, as opposed to the ball spinning around a different axis. There is plenty of research to suggest that this thinking is mathematically correct, with the analysis showing that spinning a ball like this does in fact make it more aerodynamic, allowing for greater velocity through the air and higher pass accuracy. So I guess the question shouldn't be why players spin the ball, but how a spinning ball is able to maintain this low frontal area, whereas a non-spinning ball seems to have less stability and so travel a shorter distance. This is something which gets talked about a lot, with people often dumping the terms gyroscopic effect and vectors to explain that a rotating object remains stable. So instead of doing this, I decided to build a spinning top. Now there is logic in comparing our ball to a spinning top, as this top makes use of the gyroscopic effect to remain standing, but I believe that it's much easier to see and explain what's going on here by using this. Spinning tops are one of those many toys that we see at the intersection of the kids and physicists toys Venn diagram, so I'd forgive you for perhaps being bored of this example, but it is a very good demonstration of the physics at play. When we spin a top about this axis, we apply a rotational force, or torque, to get it up to speed. Now if you tried to stand it up without spinning, it would quickly fall over, but the rotating top is able to maintain balance. To understand this, we need to look at a point on the surface. As this point rotates, the top might start to fall to one side due to gravity. This would mean that our point would follow a path travelling towards the ground, as opposed to the horizontal path which it was on before. However, since this point has a certain momentum or inertia, which is this resistance to change in velocity, so the point wants to travel in this direction, causing this side to move up, closer to the path the particle is going to travel along. Another, perhaps more accurate description of what's going on here makes use of orbits. Let's take the Earth and our Moon. As the Moon travels around Earth, we could apply a force similar to the force of gravity on our top. Instead of the force instantly changing our orbit, like how we predicted with the non-spinning top, this force acts to change the momentum of the Moon, so that it travels at an angle. If we then change where we apply the force, to simulate how gravity would now be pulling this side of the top down, the orbit changes again to tilt in the direction 90 degrees out of phase to what we expect. This is known as precession, and can be seen when a bike wheel is spun. Instead of dropping down, it instead rotates around the string. If you're interested in learning more, I highly recommend watching the Hughes SciTech or Vsources videos on this topic. They're very informative. This is the reason as to why gyroscopes work. It's all to do with angular momentum and this example can be used to explain why spinning rugby balls gives them their stability. Much like the spinning top, a rugby ball can also be spun on its end and remain stable. Again, the ball has points on it which resist the toppling of the axis, which means that spinning a ball can be used at any axis to maintain that initial angle, and so provide stability. This is so important for objects shaped like footballs and rugby balls, as decreasing their frontal area leads to a huge decrease in drag, not to mention the accuracy and reliability benefits which help the receiver. This is not a new concept, however, with weapons dating as far back as 1498 making use of grooves in the barrel, known as rifling, to give the projectile angular momentum, thus increasing the accuracy significantly. So what does this have to do with helicopters? Well, helicopters can be thought of as a large and slightly more expensive spinning top, with similar physics used to determine the pitch, if we want to tilt forwards, then we know that to change the orbit of the blades, we need to apply more force at this point, which will give the desired outcome. These are only some of the applications that the physics of rotating objects is applied to, as there are many other uses, such as in navigation systems. Although the spinning football seems like a simple example, 
the underlying physics is applicable to so many other things, and I hope you found this interesting.